Welcome back to Bloodstock TV. I am absolutely overjoyed to have James from Hellripper here. How are you, man? Thank you very much for having me, man. Being interested enough to speak to me. I appreciate <laughs> of course not. it. I'm are you doing very me? well. Thank you very much. Awesome. Um, I figured the best place to start is just the recent album, even though it's been out for a bit yeah. now, but um, Warlock, Warlock's Grim and Withered Hags. What an awesome title. Yeah. Um, third studio album. I, I, like, I've been following your career uh, as it's been going along um, with each album, but there was something different about this album. It seemed to be the momentum just sort of really clicked into place. Yeah. And it was one of those records that everyone was talking about. I saw it in America as well. People were reviewing it online. Yeah. And I mean, just really, really delighted for you. But my question is like, like it took on a life of its own, but did you notice that there was a difference with this album as well in terms of like, holy shit, it's kind of going everywhere. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was weird. I mean, it's 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 different for me because it's it's I'm involved in everything. You know, Hell Ripper is I do Hell Ripper like twenty four hours a day. Like so, um, I think it's maybe more noticeable to like an outsider. You know, but yeah, this album I feel like it was just better. Um, I really enjoyed the process of writing it and recording it, and I, you know, I tried a few new things. I kind of felt. A bit, I felt confident enough to try some different things, you know, like in production wise and taking different influences from other bands that I might not usually, you know, and especially for the style, um, kind of branching out, doing some different stuff. Um, but yeah, the response to it was, it was amazing. You know, I, obviously I never know if people are going to like it or yeah. not. And um, I'm always, you know, it's all, I never know what the reaction is going to be, and I was very grateful that pleasantly it, it, surprised. yeah, very pleasantly yeah. surprised. You know, because um, like you always hope people are going to like it, but yeah, it seemed to kind of um, kind of increase the profile of the band yeah. a lot. Um, we've had you know a lot of cool tours and festivals. Yeah, it's um, the Euro Goat Summer massacre. Yeah, yeah. these fucking names yeah. are awesome. Man. Yeah, so we've <laughs> so we've had a. You know, quite a few things off the back of it on this album cycle. Um, it's almost what is that a year and a half now? I think it's been out. Uh, yeah, and it's been yeah, it's been a busy year and a half. You know, I've been mm. it's been full on just which building, is, yeah, building and building on top of what yeah, you've already it's done. It's been fun. Um, you are obviously known for a one man project. Mm. Um, like, it's uh, how, how do you even approach all of this? Like, what is your if you could explain it your your the songwriting and recording process that mm -hmm. you do in your own because obviously with traditional bands they you know they flex some ideas with each yeah, other yeah. they try out some stuff so i mean you are so immersed in this mm -hmm. um does it ever i'm asking kind of two questions here the first one is how do you approach yeah. the whole process and secondly is it overwhelming at times do you kind of have to say Fuck, i need to step away from this just to you know, to get a bit of headspace, it's like you're so immersed in it. Yeah, I mean, I think, in, I mean, certainly now it takes me a lot longer to do things because I've, I've got, you know, more shows and stuff. When I started, I had no intention of ever playing shows, no in intention of really doing anything, really. I thought it was going to be an EP released online. Maybe a couple people in my local scene would like it. And that was it, you know, there was no really any further expectations. So how I approach it is just I write riffs and kind of build on it and everything's recorded at home, um, which is how I keep it from getting overwhelming. You know, I take my time. I, I'm a slow worker, mm. especially over the years, I've gotten slower and slower at writing songs. So the album writing process, you know, lasts years for me just because it's what I do as a hobby as well. You know, it's like mm. my, just when I'm at home, I'll just write write music as as a hobby and eventually over time songs form and gradually mm. add more layers gradually add vocals experiment with different things you know i don't need to hire a studio for two weeks at a time or you know have things done at a specific deadline adhere to anyone else's schedules everything's on my own terms but that's where all of the creativity comes from yeah it's just you're completely in tune yeah. with it and you're not like oh shit i've got to get out of here exactly yeah eight days yeah there'd be maybe there's some advantages and disadvantages mm. you know some stuff's better created 
to a deadline and having other people's opinions and stuff definitely mm. can help. But it's just the way I like to do things, you know. I like mm. to. It's it's just what I do at home, you know, when I'm bored and stuff. So I don't want to have a set time or anyone else really involved in the process. It's just just you know, freedom, flexibility. Yeah, you know, if I'm yeah. bored, if I'm bored at three p.m. afternoon, I can just come up like try and just mess it's, around it's all there laid out for you exactly, ready to step yeah. into so it's just, amazing yeah. and and just with the obviously the the lyrics are you know it's dark occult mm -hmm. themes etc cetera, etc cetera. um like does does that kind of send you off into these wormholes of you know you're getting ideas and then you're kind of looking up stuff and researching yeah. and like oh my god i didn't know that and yeah just, that's the inspiration so um it, like as a person who writes all the time, what what are you kind of looking at now? <laughs> now I mean, in terms of that aspect, I know you're out and you're touring and there's gigs and everything, but is there something that you're fascinated by now that you're kind of could it, lead to possibly some uh, something that would be on the next album? Or something yeah, like? with the with with the last album, I kind of made the decision to base it completely on Scottish folklore and well, Scotland in some way. So there's like Scottish folklore, history, um, poetry, all that kind of thing. And that was fun to explore, um, and I enjoyed doing that. So the next album will be similar themes, you know, just kind of more, more stories, more folklore, more events, from, like from Scottish, from yeah. Okay. Um, so it's another Scottish-based album, which I think is fun. Um, it's interesting to me. It kind of, and it's something a bit different in yeah. the, in the Black Thrash kind of scene. You know, there's not much other bands talking about like Scottish folklore and stuff in, mm. in the black speed metal kind of yeah. uh, style. So it's something a bit different in that respect as well. Mm. So it's, yeah, kind of more of the same from the last album, just kind of carrying on. And um, I've got the the album half written or something now. Okay. So not really any lyrics, although I've got, you know, ideas for topics and themes. It's yeah, it's taking shape very slowly. I've got two songs a bit recorded. Um, and it's sounding good, but when, when you're out doing these shows and you kind of look at your schedule and you're like, oh god, okay, we're doing this, this, and this, but you are, do you have a yearning to, oh, but I just want to be yes. in that writing yes. mode and I don't want to be doing this all the time, all wow. the time. Yeah, so is that where you're most happier? Yeah, happiest? I love, yeah. I love the writing, I love the creative process. Yeah. I mean, the live shows and stuff are amazing as well. Exhilarating, but I'm sure. The, but... the creative process is, it's what I do all day. You know, yeah, if yeah. I'm at home, I'm basically doing that all day. Wow. Um, so, you know, yeah, this year we, we're going to have like something like a hundred shows. So I'm away for the whole of summer and almost every weekend for the rest of the year, which doesn't leave me much time to to re write and record. Um, but I mean, I'm not complaining because I'm, yeah, I'm having a good time and, what, yeah. and I'm, I'm enjoying myself yeah. a lot. I'm grateful for the people that are coming to see us and stuff. Mm. Um, but yeah, when I get back home and I get the time, I'm immersed in uh, it'll that. be fun to Switch get back, back into, into it. Mode, yeah. absolutely yeah now for those of you out there that are familiar with hell ripper there's also something else that you do that i stumbled across a couple of years ago and i actually messaged you online and you messaged me back mm. and that is lock oh yeah, yeah now yeah. i heard this and i was like oh my god oh, this thank you very is much man fucking incredible and i was messaging you saying are you going to release this on yeah. vinyl and you very kindly responded back to me and um, and said it's not, it's something you'd like to do down in the future, yeah. but it is this amazing kind of uh, dark post gothic kind yeah. of, it's incredible. Oh, well, thank you. Are you still messing around with that or are you just completely Kind Hell of, Ripper? kind of. I've got a couple, I mean, with the last album and, and this next album especially, a lot of the Lock Howell ideas are going into Hell Ripper, you know. Oh, like, really? Okay, so, interesting. So, you know, I've done, I've, I had a bunch of other bands. I did a death metal thing called Lord Rot as well. But the idea is, you know, I, I had a bunch of projects and I kind of had, like Hell Ripper would be the, the speed metal punk one. Yeah. Lock Hell was going to be more the goth post-punk kind of stuff. Then Lord Rot was death metal and I had a punk Jeez. thing. You like to keep it. Yeah. But now, <laughs> with especially with the last album, I, I thought it would be more interesting to kind of just use all these influences for one band, for Hell yeah. Ripper, you know, kind of put some of the Lock Hell gothy parts into the speed metal to kind of... That's going to be a whole a new different. kind of aspect to Yeah, I Hell think Ripper. it's fun, um, you know, especially 
um, I can't remember if there was any Lock Howl parts in the last album, but certainly the Lord Rot stuff, the death metal, a lot of that ended up yeah. in, in the last album. And I've got one or two songs right now that were basically like parts from Lock Howl songs have been integrated into this yeah. speed metal, which is fun. Um, but I probably will do something um, with Lock Howl or maybe release it in, under my own name or something. You know, it's a bit, it's annoying having. F- 10 band pages to manage and email <laughs> yeah, addresses just to check. Combine them all, yeah. yeah, so maybe like released under my own name or something, stuff that doesn't work, you know, something that just won't work in Hell Ripper, you know, yeah. so something that has to be separate. But I'm glad you liked that. It was really I fun. I loved doing it, that. honestly. I, it was I really absolutely fun loved it. it. And I, I'm a sucker for that genre. Yeah, anyway. I love that kind of and stuff. And I love when it's done right. Mm. And I, in my opinion, you've absolutely done that oh, right. Thank you and very it, much. It's, it's fucking amazing. And I, really really want you to release the thank final. I, I um, hope so it's I, just yeah there, please, i don't think there's yeah, enough there's so not good. enough interest it's been like yeah but hopefully now if people check that out yeah. um lock hell and that album is called P- paradolia yeah, yeah. is that correct check it out uh, it's it's so good thank you man. um you won't be disappointed it is fantastic okay so just rounding off this mm. uh interview here and thank you for your time you. um just projecting you've already mentioned that you're writing the 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 next album the follow-up but um what do you see kind of next year? Will we see, I know you work slow, as you mm-hmm. said, and but maybe 25, 26 yeah. for, for, for Hell Ripper. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping 25 okay. because I'm kind of, I'm at a stage where I'm like, it could go slowly, it could go quickly. You know, I'm at the, like the halfway point where, yeah, I don't know, I don't know how, how fast I'm going to work. Um, there's a lot, there's a lot done. So it's nearly completed. But it depends how picky and la- or lazy or whatever I get. Mm. But there's going to be a new song out in three weeks. Oh, okay. At the end of August, I'm going to isolate it. Just an isolated, just track, an isolated is it? one, yeah. It'll be a uh, kind of a straightforward punk single. Can you give us the uh, name or not? I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Okay, for now, okay, right? okay. Um, okay. And it's gonna and it's gonna have a cover song attached to it. It's gonna be a Chili Peppers cover. Oh wow! Of course. Okay, of course. So. Um, yeah, in, that was in your own um, yeah. reimagination. I mean, I was... the original version is quite uh, the song punk rock classic. It's okay. kind of a, it's a punk rock song, so it's not too dissimilar to Hell Ripper, other than the more uh, the vocals and the the kind of vibe. Gnarly. So yeah. yeah, so that'll be fun to release some new stuff for the first time in since the album. Brilliant. And uh, we've just signed with a new label, which I can't announce yet, but okay. um, that's cool as well. And then when. When I get the time, I'm going to be working on the new stuff. We've got loads of tour, like loads of dates and tours planned for God, 25. It's all happening, man. Yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all go, but. It's, and the it's most fun. unassuming thing about it is that you just were like, I'm just going to have fun here. I'm going to do yeah. this. I'm going to express myself. And it's just blown up into yeah. this. And it's still like it's that. Blossoming I mean, right I'm, before your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm grateful that it's still like that. The process yeah. is almost exactly the same as 10 years ago. It's just it's brilliant. a bit bigger scale. So I'm, yeah. I'm enjoying myself. I'm loving every moment of it. I'm grateful for everyone's support, for people like yourself yeah. taking an interest and in hearing what sake. I'm saying and stuff. So it's, it's it's incredible and you should be very proud of everything you've done and, you, and what's coming ahead. But um yeah, with that being said, like we're gonna let you off to you get much. ready for uh the show. Um anybody out there, if you haven't seen Hell Ripper, go do it. Uh and then get the discography look into everything that you are doing thank because you, it is just fantastic um thank you so much for your time and thank you for uh just yeah thank you for being on bloodstock tv thank awesome. you for having me appreciate it brilliant